Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. Now, Doja Cat has been a hot topic all weekend, and this is a topic that I wanted to avoid because I felt like every single blogger and their mama has been talking about this, and I didn't really want to waste my time talking about this because I'm just like, uh, everybody else has talked about it. What can I add to it, even though I don't agree with what everybody is saying? What can I add to it that won't be oversaturated and, you know, be of substance? And I really didn't want to even go there. But she has responded to the backlash. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to give my voice because why do you guys subscribe to me? Because you want to hear what I think about it. So I'm going to talk about it in this video. So I'm going to take a few steps back and I'm going to bring to you guys what happened initially. Now, when this first started to happen, People were like, look, she was in this chat room with these racist incels and she was, you know, rolling around and she was doing this and she was doing that. And then when I looked at it, I was like, wait, what am I looking at? She's a biracial woman. She's mixed with black. She's mixed with white. And we give people who have half black a pass to say the N word. So what am I outraged about that this mixed race woman said the N word? I'm, I'm, I was looking at it and I was trying to figure out what I was supposed to be outraged about. But because Twitter said that we should be outraged, everybody was outraged. But I was looking at it and I'm like, OK, out. OK, l l l let me see what I'm going to be outraged about. I think, I think that explains it. Speaking of desensitized <laughs> gag reflexes, my loose lady of the night, Doja. <laughs> so easy and loose. Let's go to the oh. end. Okay. And only two. Mm -hmm. Yes, Daddy. Oh, oh my God. God. Mm -hmm. Her shirt reminds me uh, of a baby duck. Uh, her shirt is like a. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, my lady <laughs> Dallas. What does her shirt remind you of? It reminds me of like a little duckling with feathers. <laughs> she's she's a little duckling. She thinks she's like. You think she's it's, a hot it's chick? yellow and it's yellow and it's got feathers. It's like a little duckling. A chick. Yes, pull your shirt up, you lady. It's pulled up enough. Relax. I'm doing. I'm pulling it down for fashion. Yes, my lady. Fashion. <laughs> Chill out, dude. Lady Pablo, are you okay? Don't you look perplexed. Me, no one gets to the paparazzi, my lady. I think pa Pablo is just gonna grab a Red Bull, sit back. And enjoy the show. Yeah, I think so too. That's exactly what I'm doing. What show? I just like, I feel like I've been smiling for the past like three yes, hours. Yes, you have. You need to stop smirking like <laughs> a goofy <Pablo>. lady. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy my talk. This guy's ripped. What's going on? Hi, it's my old. Shout out to my lady. Play some to you, Sinthal. No. <laughs> Jason, you uh, sure, you, you, sure you, ain't, you sure you ain't pump us up? Uh, could you just mm. walk? Okay, so I seen this and I'm like, okay, she likes white men. None of the white men called her the N word. None of them pretty much, you know, reacted to in a strange way into what she was doing. I'm like, she wants to have attention. They really didn't really give her the attention that she was looking for. She's a biracial woman mixed with black. She has a white mother who is, you know, where she leans more towards. She leans more towards her white side. And when I looked at this, I'm like, okay, do the white people say anything derogatory? Do the white people get out of line? I really didn't see that. I'm like, she's kind of bored. Looks like she's maybe even high and she's seeking for attention. And she's doing this fantasy bed wench role play, which is a porn category where some people actually get off on that. I'm like, mm, am I supposed to be extremely outraged about this? Let me see. Mm. I really didn't find the major extreme outrage there. I'm gonna be honest. I don't care who gets mad. I looked at this and I didn't really see the extreme outrage. I felt like a lot of the people who tried to act like they were so outraged, I feel like a lot of it was fake outrage. But let's carry on. I'm going to go through all of the things as I seen them. So then the next thing that I seen, and I'm going to break everything down. 
So the next thing that I seen was her in this other chat room and this other chat room, there was another black man in the chat room. So like people tried to say like, oh, these are racist, white supremacists. And I'm like, OK, well, Doja's biracial. And I mean, she appeals to white. She identifies more to white. But then I'm like, OK, so there's this other black man also in this chat room. And in the chat room, I'm like, the other people, I, I was like, they didn't say anything derogatory towards black. They didn't say anything that I picked up on that was racist towards a black. You had a person where he did say that a black man looked like he can be Indian. But I was like, is that totally racist that he says that the black man could pass for an Indian? I really don't know. I was kind of having a toss up like, OK, so should I be outraged that he said that a black man should like kind of like look like he can pass for Indian? So I'm like, OK, well, let me see what's racist here that everybody is saying is so racist. I'm like, they're saying that these are white supremacists. But I'm like, OK, so white supremacists are letting biracial and black people into the chat. I'm like, OK, so this is a new one. Let me look and see what I'm going to be outraged about here. So l let's roll it. Oh, I just lost a cigarette. Dude, ADD just uh, DM'd me. Learned anything new today? And I said, Yeah, I learned if you sunk a dunker, you can be anybody. Hey, uh, ADD. ADD. Why didn't you want to know what I learned today, man? Why you have to focus in on the beautiful women? With another comment. I learned that I learned that we could have been anybody. Hey, ADD. You look Arabic. Are you? Oh boy. I learned that we could have been an F My bad. He didn't say that the black man could be Indian. He said that the black man looked like he can be Arabic. So I was like, damn, fuck. Outraged as fuck. Like, should I be outraged about that? I really don't know because I do see black men who I mean, there are every single race that can pass for another race. There are ethnically ambiguous women who look like they can pass for one race, but they are this race. So I'm like, should I be outraged about that? I really didn't know. Then I was trying to figure out, I'm like, where do people come up with the fact that this is a racist, white supremacist group? I'm like, where on the chat does it say that? Where do I get information that verifies that? And then I came up with this post that was on Reddit. And I'm like, OK, so because one person made a post on Reddit and said that this is what it is, then now everybody is just following behind that and saying that okay this is for sure what it is but I'm like okay I didn't see the people saying nothing racist I seen one person saying that one person looked like they could be Arabic I'm like okay so where is the proof that this is a white racist right supremacist group I really couldn't find that I just seen a reddit post where one person said that that's what this was and then all these people just going off of this one person saying that that's what that was and everybody was running with it. So I'm like, OK, well, I can't 100 percent verify that's what that is. So let me find out what everything else is. So I'm just running you guys through things as I seen them and as I uncovered them and as I kind of figured what this is to be what it is. But we're going to go through everything. I'm not excusing Doja. I'm not excusing her behavior. I'm just giving you a timeline of how information was presented to me, how I reacted to it, how I figured it, and then how I moved to the next to try to figure out what I was going to be outraged about. I'm not excusing her. So just take me through this journey and let's figure this out together. So then there was more stuff that started to come out. And then I'm like, OK, well. Me looking at Doja Cat, I've never been a stan of her. I've never been one who I felt like she was for the people. And I never felt like looking at her that she identified more with her black side. I can automatically, with my discernment, with my judge of character, I can already tell that, number one, this is a biracial woman who grew up with a white mother who she leaned more towards her white side because her black father wasn't there. So I'm like, I've, I have already know that. I'm not surprised by that. I understand that, okay, well, this biracial woman who grew up with a white mother who did not have her black father there, she now identifies more with her white side because that's all she knows. And she dates white men because that's what she's around. 
And that's what she identifies more with because that's what she knows. She doesn't really know her black side because her black father wasn't there. So I'm like, should I be outraged because she doesn't really know her black side and that she identifies more with the white side? I was really trying to figure out which part I was supposed to be outraged about because all of the things that people were revealing were things that I already figured in the beginning. Like I already figured that she wasn't here for black guys. I already figured that she wasn't for the people. I already figured that she identified more with her white side, all with, with just seeing her. Like when I first came to know Doja was when she came out with her Moo song. So when she came out with the Moo Cow song or whatever, that's when I first came to know her. And I myself, I was surprisingly surprised because you know, I started to get messages and I think I talked about this in a video before because I started to get messages and they were like, no, like she's actually talented. Like you have to check her out like she's actually talented. So one day I was bored myself and I actually went to her page and she happened to be live. It was so crazy because I was bored. She was live and I checked it out. And she literally did a song live. So she did a song and I was like, oh, wow. Like she's actually more talented than just this moo cow girl. Like she actually can get a beat, make a song and create a song from scratch on live all by herself. I'm like, okay, this girl's actually talented. But even with me feeling like this girl's actually talented, I never negated from the fact that this is a white passing biracial girl that identifies more towards her white side. Like even with me saying, OK, well, this girl actually has talent. We were not her target demographic. Black people were not her target demographic. I was able to check her out, but I never felt like I was her demographic. I never felt like I was who she was appealing to. Until she finally did a song with Tyga and she felt like it was beneficial to market to black people. She felt like it was beneficial to now that I have my white audience that I appeal to. Now, let me try to get a wider audience. I never negated from how I felt from her originally. So when she started to branch out to a black audience, I'm like, OK, I heard you. I feel you. I see you. But. I already know that you're not really fucking with us like that. You're doing it because it's beneficial. So I kind of was like, okay, so are y'all really bamboozled by this? Do y'all really feel like she's for the people? Like where I, I kind of, I really was trying to process where the outrage was because I never looked at her as a for the people fuck with us type of person. I always looked at her as a white passing biracial woman who appeals to white people. But now that she kind of steered in a way like, okay, I got a feature with Tyga now. Oh, okay. I feel like these people was my people, but like maybe I could branch out a little more. Like I'm seeing this. So I'm like, should I be outraged because other people didn't see this and I seen this, but like, should it like, is this a surprise? Like it really wasn't a surprise to me, but then there was more that came out. So then there was a video where she called people the F word. Now I don't say the F word. I don't call people who are gay the F word. I don't agree with people calling women fish and I don't agree with people calling gay men or people in the LGBT community, the F word. So I don't use either. I don't want you to call me the F word, and I don't, and I will not call you the F word. So then I seen a footage of her calling, you know, gay men the F word. So I'm like, okay, I see what y'all feel there, because sis is dead ass wrong for that. Stop being a faggot. Thank you. Stop being a faggot. Thank you. Okay, so I was like, finally, I see where people are coming from. I finally see something to be outraged about. Sis, you can't be out here calling people the F word. That's just not okay. That's not all right. And with this came an apology at the time that she did it. So she had posted up a post where she had kind of, you know, tried to show some remorse in 2018, but it really wasn't no remorse because she didn't really have an true apology like she didn't really give a fuck she just was kind of like saying it to say it so she said i called a couple people faggots when i was in high school in 2015 does this mean i don't deserve support question mark i've said get roughly like 15,000 times in my life the same it means that i hate gay people do i hate gay people i don't think i hate gay people gay is okay 
So that was kind of her response to people calling her out for saying the F word. And I mean, sis, come on, like that the word is offensive to people. People feel a way about it. And it has a negative connotation. And that's nothing that you should be addressing people as. I get it. Like, okay, so I'm like, finally, I see where some outrage coming from. Like, okay, sis, you can't really be saying that. That's not cool. And I'm a person, I don't want to be called the F word. I don't want to call them the F word. Like, I'm like, all right, sis, like, right there, right then. This wasn't really an apology. This wasn't really a sincere, like, I'm sorry. This was basically like, okay, I said it. This is something that I said. Like, get over it. And, oh, well, I don't I don't dislike y'all, but this is a figure of my speech. So I'm like, all right. I'm like, I'm looking at the date. This happened two years ago. I'm like, were people outraged then? No, they weren't really outraged, that outraged then, but now they're outraged now. But I'm like, okay, I can see why they are still, you know, outraged. People dig up these tweets and they go to the ghost of Twitter past and they dig up all this dirt on people and then it comes to bite them in the butt. So I'm like, all right, so now I finally see that people have something to gripe about, something to really be mad about, and something that she actually said out of her mouth because the other stuff was just stuff that people said it was what it was, but it really, I really didn't see that it was what they said it was. So I can't really just go off of just one random user saying, oh, this is a racist chat room if I see other black people in the chat room and I don't see them saying racist stuff. But then I'm like, okay, that's two years ago, but hey, we can be outraged for however long or whatever. All right, now we finally on to something. So then when I started to see the tweets, you know, this is some of the stuff that people started to say. One person said, Doja Cat really should have been canceled back in 2018 when she publicly defended herself calling a gay man an F word and then gave us a week A apology. This is just a reminder to everyone that she is not it. So then another person said, I've been told y'all about Doja Cat. I never stand not once, and y'all deserve this for ignoring the F debacle. Another person said, y'all just now canceling Doja Cat? I guess no one cared when she said F and gave the world's most terrible apology. So there were several tweets like this, and then there were tweets that were quite the contrary who were saying, well, Y'all didn't um, cancel Cardi when she said what she said. Y'all didn't cancel XYZ for when they said what they said. So people were saying that they didn't feel like Doja was going to be canceled. I'm going to read some of those. This person said, oh, please, enough. If y'all couldn't cancel Cardi for drugging and robbing men, then y'all can't cancel Doja. Okay, and then another person said, still listening to her, I can't be convinced by mob mentality. I like her music. It is what it is. If Chris Brown can knock out Rihanna and still have platinum albums, and if Cardi can brag about being a female Bill Cosby and y'all still listening to them, then I can enjoy my Doja. Another person commented and said, she will not be canceled. Black people are emotional. They will forget about her comment in one week. Okay, so the F word debacle, I was like, finally, I see something where, you know, people are outraged and then you have people who are not really sold on it. They're like, okay, that's not really a big deal, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, all right, I see where people are going with this and and how they feel away about that. So then there was the whole Sandra Bland thing. People were saying that she made a song mocking the death of Sandra Bland. Well, when I seen the lyrics, I did not see any correlation or tie to Sandra Bland other than people just simply said that's what it was. And then I did a little more digging and I'm like, okay, this song came out around that time. But how can you guys say that just because she made this song that that's what that means that it was based on and that's who she was talking about? Is in the song she's talking about, you know, black people saying that they didn't do something? Yes. But and could it be, you know, direct shots at black people? Yes. But to say that it is directly correlated to Sandra Bland, that's where I kind of got confused because I'm like, okay, yes, she's talking about black people didn't do nothing. But how can we just 100 percent say that it's about Sandra Bland? That's just kind of was the hiccup that I had. But let's go into the meaning of didn't do nothing because this ain't something that I use. This ain't a term that I've ever heard of. I don't use this term, never heard of it a day in my life. So I had to research it and find out what this didn't do nothing even mean. Um, And so let's 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 go over that. 
those of you who've seen other bloggers talk about this, you probably already heard the meaning by now. But for my audience who just listen to me, y'all probably haven't heard it. So we're just going to go over everything, the stuff that y'all haven't heard, the stuff that y'all have. We're just going to go over it all since I'm going to address it. I'm going to just go over everything and that'd be that. So according to the Urban Dictionary, didn't do nothing is a term used to mock blacks that commit crimes and the excuses that's made for them derived from welling family members, usually mentally unstable mothers that claim that they didn't do anything wrong. Those riots in Ferguson are clearly full of didn't do nothings. So, OK, I'm like, all right, so this is a term. So I had to figure I'm like, OK, I'm, I'm trying to piece together where people are piecing stuff together. So, OK, so the term means blacks who say that they committed a crime that they didn't do it and they didn't do something so i'm like all right okay so this is the lyrics to doja cats didn't do nothing it says how much nothing can a din do do if a din do didn't do nothing how much money could a din do make if a din do did all the things that you wish to wish to how much money could a din do make how much money could a din do make if a din do did all the things that you wish to uh, how much okay okay i'm a degenerate smoke all your cannabis you cannot handle it uh wave all your appendages tweeting and instagram camera flick bitch you was edited swear you remember this swear you will be cameraless f taking pictures what's wrong with the vibe might as well dead this ish i feel alive i feel like a part of life i feel like i'm starting to die i feel like i popped in the sky Get in my space high. You'll catch a rocket and ride. I spy with the little eye, a target. You mine all the time. Maybe I never heard this song because it just, I'm like, what am I even reading? I really don't even know what I'm reading. But, okay, so somehow this, some people say, was about Sandra Bland. Um, And I'm scanning through. I don't, I don't see nothing about the police. Hold on, wait. Is there anything about police being arrested and dying inside the cell? Okay, how much nothing could a didn't do do if a didn't do didn't do nothing? Sent a muffin like a goddamn night at my bake. He chef. I cook. F selling. How much? How much money could a didn't do make if a didn't do did all the things? Da da da. Ish, I do. I need a band on my wrist. B ends. Know about it with a pound of fist to the head, chief. Take it to the head, chief. If you're making this bread, chief, take it to the head, chief. Take it to the head. And I'm up and I'm coming, babe. Please say something like how much nothing can it didn't do. Da, da, da. How much nothing can it didn't do do if it didn't do. Da, da, da. OK. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I don't see anything about the police. I don't see anything about an arrest. I don't I still don't see how this was attributed to Sandra Bland, but I guess because she's talking about a didn't do nothing and the term means, you know, mocking black people who didn't do nothing, I guess. So that was kind of the basis of the Sandra Bland outrage. That was also another part where I'm like, OK, she made this song. I don't even I, don't, I guess I'm too old to even try to even understand. I don't understand the lyrics. I don't understand how it was attributed to Sandra Bland. I get that it's mocking black people. And it's like, all right, well, bitch, don't be mocking us. Like, you know, you're wrong for that. But I still kind of was confused like me, like. I can't like somebody can't just tell me what something means and then I'm gonna just go for it without me seeing and connecting the dots myself. So when I seen it, I'm like the dots kind of don't really connect to me. I don't really understand it. So I'm not just going to go off of somebody else saying it. So I'm like, OK, I'm not excusing her. If this is about Sandra Bland, if she's making this about Sandra Bland and she's doing that F shit, then, you know, hey, whatever, do what you do. Me, personally, it just didn't make sense to me. The dots didn't really connect to me. So then there was a post where she said, you know, finally, after, you know, every single blogger had made videos, and the videos that they had was containing the stuff that, some of the stuff that I showed you so far. And that was kind of the end of it. And like, yeah, cancel her. And that was kind of the end. And I'm like, okay, well, where did she say she didn't like being black? Where did she say, you know, where was this racist stuff? Where was like, where, like, where's the meat in the grit of the story? Like, 
you know, I'm like, okay, she said the F thing. Okay, she, okay, she's jacked up for that. That happened two years ago. But I'm like, where is the meat and the grit of the true racist stuff? Like, where is the, you know, all of this stuff? So then there was a tweet that was posted by DJ Academics where she said that she was um, leaning more towards white. So I'm like, okay, finally we have proof. You know, all of these people made all these videos with absolutely zero proof. And then I'm like, okay, now we have some solid proof of something now I can look at her and tell this is the type of person she is and I it none of this is surprising but I'm like at least let me see it you know like I know that's kind of how I feel like she may be or it's something that she may say but let me see it for myself let me you know see it so then you know like I said so this is the tweet that DJ Academics posted it says thinking about being black can make any sensible person depressed like, just think about it. Wouldn't being white make so much more sense? Life would have value. So I'm like, okay. Now, this is what, this is like kind of the proof I was looking for when I seen all the other videos that was made that I didn't see. And I'm like, okay, now I get it. You know, I see it. Like, I've seen it before, and I, I can see that this is probably something that she would say and how she would feel. Um, but I'm like, okay, if we're going to cancel the girl, like, at least let her say it. Like, not let's, let's not just assume that this is what she said because somebody said she said it. Let's actually have proof that she said this. And so now we do have proof. So after this, you know, people started to dig up any and everything, um, even stuff that really wasn't really much, but it was just anything to try to, you know, dispel her blackness uh she even had a video where she was talking about her 4c hair now there are plenty of black women and you know this is not excusable for her to say you know life would have more value blah 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 blah. i mean that's ignorant thinking to me and that's just like girl go on somewhere get educated open up a book and and learn something um you know it's like all right whatever but the other stuff that they started to pull up as far as like her hair goes when she made a complaint about, you know, having 4C hair. I'm like, I live in a fucking family, I not live in a, I have a family full of black women and I've heard complaints about 4C hair all my life. So am I going to cancel all of my family members because they make a complaint about their 4C hair or how they don't like to comb it? I'm like, okay, now some of it's reaching. So it's like, okay, we got something solid here when she says, you know, life would have more value as a white woman. And then we have stuff that I feel like is just people just reaching. You know, I feel like there are reaches and then there are solid things. I feel like the F word debacle, that's something solid. I feel like her saying that life would have more value as a white person, that shows that there are racist undertones and there are feelings in about black people that probably aren't favorable on her side and black people probably shouldn't get behind her. I'm like, okay, those two things are solid. Everything else, her rolling in the bed, um, saying the N word to me, that was a reach. Um, the other stuff, I feel like that was a reach. And her hair debacle of her not liking the 4C hair, I feel like that's a reach too. 4C is 4C can suck my ass. Is what 4C can do. 4C can. Thought I heard my boyfriend. 4C could bend over and lick my ass. Good luck trying to finger comb it. Good luck trying to put a wide tooth through it the first couple of minutes. Jesus Christ. Why even God was like, let me give this bitch 4C hair just so that she could go bald. You know what I mean? My and again, that part. I feel like the whole 4C thing was reach being that there are so many black women who feel the same way as her black women, biracial women who have a problem with doing their hair and they don't like doing it. They go to a salon to get it done because they don't like the time that it takes to do it. Me personally, I don't even like doing my own hair. I do my own hair, but shit, when I do, I have to set aside a whole day to comb it, brush it and style it. And that's just what it is. Um, so I feel like people are going to start making things stick that or trying to make things a big deal that really aren't that big of a deal just to bundle it all up into one. Now, when she said the F word and she made the apology and it really wasn't an apology, I feel like that's something solid to be mad about. When she said life has more value being white, that's something to feel away about because that is very 
racist thinking to feel like that, to feel like white people are more superior than black people. That is racist thinking. But most of the videos that your faves, your favorite bloggers and all the bloggers who jumped on this story, they didn't even have that tweet of life would have more value as black. They didn't even have the 4C video. They didn't have they didn't have half of the stuff that I showed you. They had her rolling in the bed. And I'm like, OK, she's a biracial woman. She's half black. She's given the right to say the N word. She said the N word. They didn't say the N word. So I wasn't outraged about that. Um, she has this bed winch role play. That's her. I, I wasn't outraged about that. Um, the didn't do nothing. The Sandra Bland thing. It kind of didn't really connect all the way for me. And so, you know, that's kind of what people showed you. They showed you her rolling the bed. They showed the didn't do nothing song. And then they show her saying the F word. Those three things. I'm like, all right, whatever. Um, and then I'm, but me personally, like I said, I wanted more proof. I've shown you guys more proof of maybe something worthy of canceling her than I feel like more other the other bloggers did, period. Anyway, so moving on. So after everybody was in an uproar about, you know, canceling her, getting her the F out of here and not, you know, effing with her no more. She then finally came out with this apology, I guess, or this reasoning as to why her actions were such. Now, do I think that she wrote this? Do I think that this is something sincere? No, I think it's just I have to put something out because people are on my head and I have to say something to save face and, you know, tell people something. So she came out and she posted and she said, I want to address what's been happening on Twitter. I've used public chat rooms to socialize since I was a child. I shouldn't have been on some of those chat room sites, but I personally have never been involved in any racist conversations. I'm sorry to everyone that I offended. I'm a black woman. Half of my family is black from the South Africa, and I'm very proud of where I come from. Girl, you don't even know them people, and they don't know you, and you don't know them. So stop. Don't use that. Don't do that. Don't do that talking about how I'm no. Half your family is black that you don't know, that you don't talk to and you don't connect with. So don't use them to combat this. Don't do that. Anyway, so she said, as for the old songs that's resurfaced, it was in no way tied to anything outside of my own personal experience. It was written in response to people who often use that term to hurt me. I made an attempt to flip its meaning, but recognized that it was a bad decision to use the term in my music. I understand my influence and impact, and I'm taking this all very seriously. I love you all, and I'm sorry for upsetting or hurting any of you. That's not my character, and I'm determined to show that to everybody moving forward. Thank you. So that was her apology to all of the stuff that people were saying. Do I think that she'll be canceled? No. I don't think that her original market was to black people. I don't think that her mass audience is black people. I think that she only started to sort of, you know, cross over and dabble into it a little bit is because it was kind of beneficial to her to do so. And, you know, people who are in the LGBT community, they'll be mad at her saying the F word and everything like that. But at the end of the day, I do not think that she will be canceled because I think that she'll just go back to the appeal of her original audience. When I first got introduced to her, she was appealing to mainly white people. She was wearing wigs that... I was like, is this a black girl? Before I knew that Doja was biracial, I honestly thought that she was a white girl with a bad wig on. You know, like, that's honestly what I thought. And I until I seen a photo of her with her hair out, and I'm like, oh, okay, this is a mixed girl. So I feel like she'll go back to that. She'll go back to bad wig wearing Doja, where she appeals to the white men that she's interested in, and she'll appeal to the white audience that, you know, is going to carry her. I don't think that she will be... Um, canceled. I think that the same way that people were outraged about Cardi, outraged about, you know, Chris, outraged about every other artist that has done something. I feel like once they make good music, they'll forget about it. Just like Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez had that whole colorism debacle. And even when I covered that, I told y'all I like his music. Um, and I'm going to address what happened, but I like his music. I listen to his music. I said it's period. But there were people who were acting like they can't fuck with Tory Lanez no more. They're not going to ever 
listen to him, never, you know, nothing. Like, throw him away, throw away the key. And then everybody got in the house, and they were bored. He had quarantine radio, and then people were like, I love him. He's the best thing ever. And, you know, everybody was championing him again. So I feel like the same with Doja. She'll make a good song. People will forget about it. And... People will go on and that'll be that. So, you know, that's just about all. People kept hitting me up, like, to talk about this. I wanted to avoid talking about it because I felt like it was oversaturated. I felt like everybody had already talked about it. And I didn't really want to talk about it because I didn't feel like she was actually going to get canceled. I don't feel like she's, you know, I at, at the time, before now, at the time, I felt like what people were posting wasn't really that a big hurrah hurrah that they were making it out to be. But now I've gathered even more stuff where I'm like, okay, this is solid. That's solid. So I can see some more outrage. But it isn't the outrage that people previously had made videos um, with. Like, they didn't have good, solid stuff. So I'm like, mm. but now, given the facts, if you want to support her, do what you do. If you don't, then don't. Um, I don't feel like a person should need somebody to twist their hand to not support something. If this goes against your morals, don't support her. Um, she's showing you who she is. She don't really F with black people like that. She doesn't really appeal to black people anyways. And going forward, I don't think that this will be her appeal. She's going to come back with like a poppy song and she's going to go back to her audience. So, I mean, it is what it is. She won't be canceled. She'll make another song and she will just, you know, keep it pushing and people will forget about this in a week or two. That's just that. It'll be something else. So, I really don't know, but you guys let me know what you think. Those are my thoughts on it. I feel like some things were solid and some things, a lot of things were a reach. I think the role play, reach. Hair thing, reach. Um, Sandra Bland thing, I'm caught in the middle of it being a reach and actually solid because it's like, yeah, she's saying didn't do nothing and it's mocking the blacks, but I'm like, okay, I, I'm still not connecting Sandra Bland thing, so kind of reach, kind of not. Um, the solid thing that was her saying that, uh, white life is more value solid F word solid. So there's things that are solid and then there's things that's completely blown out of proportion. And if this is something that you want to stand behind, stand behind. If you don't, then you don't. And it is what it is. Um, thank you guys for watching. And that is my thoughts on Doja. I think most of the bloggers who were pretending to be extremely outraged and she's cancel, cancel, cancel. I think that a lot of people were just following a bandwagon of, OK, well, Twitter, this is popular. This is popular opinion. This is how people are swaying. So let me just sway that way. I'm not swaying either way. I Doja wasn't for me anyways. I wasn't championing her before. Um, I wasn't standing for her before. Um I don't really stand for any of these artists. If they make a song I like, I listen to it. If it, it ain't a song I like, I don't listen to it. If I don't really F with their character, I don't really F with their character. Um, Doja Cat is somebody who she has a good song here and there. I don't really think that she's for me. I don't really think that um, I can already tell that this is, the, I can tell like without ever getting any of this evidence that this is the type of person she was already. So I'm not really extremely outraged or extremely, you know, infuriated and I'm not going to make a video to pretend to be like other people you know they pretend to have this fake outrage I'm not going to do that I'm just going to lay out what it is and just tell you hey if, if you stand for it I mean if you stand against it stand against it don't listen to her don't fuck with her because she don't really fuck with you and she showed you who she is but if you like her music and that's what you want to do then hey do what you do but this don't be surprised if some more stuff comes out because people will have more stuff to come out and you know it is what it is. With that being said, let me know what you think about Doja. Do you think that she will be canceled? Do you think that um, people will cancel her and no longer listen to her? What do you guys think down below? And, you know, what do you think now? I think I wouldn't even be surprised now that she does if she does a surprise reunion with her black side. You know, by next week, we'll probably be seeing Doja go and meet with all her African family and, you know, connecting with her roots. And, you know, it's it's it's. I predict that happening too. It's all for show. So what do you guys think about it? Let's talk about it in the comments down below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and um, turn on your notifications so you're notified. And that's that. Peace.